5 tips for Assimilate Scratch. Number 1. Use the range and source buttons to look beyond the in and out points of your clip and skim through the whole source clip. This way you can for example pull frame grabs from frames after the out point and use them as reference for other shots later in the timeline. Now enter split or dual view to compare the just grabbed frame against the current shot. Number 2. Drag and drop layers from one shot to several others. Just attach the layer to your pen and move to the timeline using keyboard shortcuts or on-screen controls and drop it again in the layer stack. Number 3. Let's track a lens flare into this shot. Therefore, create an empty layer that just serves the purpose of keeping the tracking data. Go to Canvas and enter the tracker. In this scenario, a simple one-point tracker will be sufficient. That looks good. Let's exit the tracker. Now create a version of the shot and let's add the Sapphire Lens Flare plugin. Also, add a custom preset look for the lens flare. Now select the other shot where we have the tracking data stored on. Select the X axis keyframes, select all, copy, and go to the other shot with the lens flare. Now select the hotspot position and paste the x-axis keyframes. Do the same for the y-axis keyframes. Copy and paste into the lens flare parameters. And now use the global mode to offset all the keyframes on the selected animation channel. Number 4. Use the alpha curve to improve maths. In this example, let's pull an HSV key, fine tune it a bit, and select the alpha curve to fine tweak the just pulled key. Number 5. Export a custom lookup table by configuring the settings for 1D and 3D lots. Here in the settings menu in Scratch, you can choose which bit depth and size a 1D or 3D lot that you export from Scratch should have. And this way, make it compatible to different cameras and lot boxes. 